Okay, guys, so today I'm going to be learning about thesis statements. Thesis statements are some of the most important sentences you're ever going to write, whether it's on a high school paper, a college paper, you're always going to need a really strong thesis statement. The cool thing about them is that even if it's like a 10-page paper or like a 300-page paper, you can tell your reader everything they need to know about what you're going to talk about in one sentence, which makes thesis statements both really cool and kind of fun to write. So that's what we're going to learn about today. So a thesis statement is like the main argument or idea of your essay. You can think about it as kind of like a map. So you're giving your reader a map explaining your destination, which is what you're trying to prove, as well as your directions, which is how you're going to prove it or why you think that way. It's usually the last sentence of the very first paragraph you'll write in your essay, too. I know that's a lot, but we're going to break this down step by step, so we'll learn more about this in a second. But first, let's just get a little warmed up. So if everyone wants to stand up real quick, we're going to play a quick game. I'm going to give you a topic, and I'm going to give you two options in that topic. And depending on whether you prefer one or the other, you'll go to one side of the room or the other, okay? So the first one is, what would you rather eat, pizza or cake? Cake people? Okay, where would you rather go? To the beach or camping? Okay, a lot of campers. Great. Which superpower do you think is better? Flying or invisibility? Jasmine, my standout. <laughs> why, why do you think flying is better? Well, my um, favorite superhero is Superman, and he can fly, so I think that's really cool. Also, you could kind of hide while you're flying, which is pretty much what invisibility allows you to do. And you can wear cool capes. I really like that. It's a good point. I didn't think about that. OK, awesome. OK, so do you think students should be allowed to grade teachers? Yes, no, or maybe? Okay, everyone agrees. So, Julian, why did you, you pick yes? Uh, I chose yes because let's say if the teacher's doing bad, you give an F and let them know they're doing something poor. If you give an A, let them know they're doing a good job. Yeah, that's really great. So, if I'm doing a bad job, I'm sure you'd like to, to tell me, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, great. Good job, you guys. You can all sit down. So, what was the point of that? The point of that is you all just wrote thesis statements. So, good job. How did you guys do that? So every good thesis has three main parts. It has a topic, a claim, and reasons. So right now, I was the one that gave you the topic. I asked whether you wanted a favorite food or a favorite place. And then you guys made a claim. You picked a side. You said, well, I'm going to pick this, or I'm going to pick this. And then when like Jasmine explained to me about why she thought buying was better, she gave me reasons to support that side. So that every good thesis statement is going to have those three components. So let's look at an example. So let's say I make a thesis statement about superpowers. I would say the best superpower is invisibility because one could hide from enemies, gain access to hidden information, and escape from difficult situations. So in this example, my topic, I'm talking about the best superpowers. I'm taking a side. I'm saying I think invisibility is the best superpower. And I give you reasons for that. So let's do a sample one together. So we have this thesis statement, if you guys want to read it really quick. All right. And who can tell me what the topic of this paper is going to be? Jasmine. Um, programs that help the environment. Perfect. We're going to be talking about programs that help the environment in this paper. Who can tell me what the claim here is? What am I arguing? Julian. Uh, school should use such as things as recycling. Yeah, so I'm, I'm saying that school should use these things, right, to help the environment. And Danny, can you tell me how I'm going to support this? Uh, maybe you'll tell us about how those things will help the environment? Yeah, so in this thesis statement, what exact things do you think we're going to be talking about? Can you tell me, looking at this? Which three things will I talk about? Uh, recycling, composting, and carpools. Perfect. So there I have my topic, programs to help the environment. I'm saying that schools should use them, that's my claim. And I'm going to talk about recycling, composting, and carpools to prove that claim. Okay, so in order to kind of summarize this and make sure you guys will never forget the three parts of the thesis statement, we're going to do a little remix of a song called Shake It Off. Do you guys like Taylor Swift? Yeah! Yay. You guys want to shake it off? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so you guys ready to sing this together? Sure! Okay, on three. One, two, three. I have to make, make a claim. claim. I have a topic in my brain. So this is what I'll say. This is what I'll say, mm -hmm. I'll give you reasons, one or two or three of them, that will support my opinions, and all my readers will really love my guy. Cause the topic came with fade, 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 and my claim has to be made, 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 made. So my thesis will save the day, 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 with support, with support. 